Okay, welcome back to the channel, sports fans. Okay, I don't think I've ever done a review on this channel over my Champion 2000 watt inverter generator. I got this at Tractor Supply uh, back in when I moved out here in July. 449, I think. Okay, I looked at a lot of them. Looked at the little Harbor Freight Predator. I uh, really wanted a Honda, but, you know, this one's, was less than half of what a Honda was. And it had decent reviews, so I thought I'd take a chance on it. So, let me, uh, let's, this is, uh, I've had it now for going on seven months. So, it's not really a six-month review, is it? Huh, okay. So, let's just start up here. Let me go over what it has. These are your warning lights. Uh, this or uh, these are your warning lights. This is your okay light. This is a green light. If it's running and it's producing power, it has a green light. Uh, if there's something wrong with the electrical, if you overload or something uh, like that, this light comes on. I think this light is orange, maybe red. I don't know. This is low oil. This will, light will come on if you your oil level is low. Two. 120 volt outlets no 220 outlet just 220 volt plus you have a 12 volt accessory plug right there now from what I understand this is not m metered or you know um, so you get the full full money right there with that one so you I would be careful um, if you do trip one of uh, your your 120 volt reset button right here 20 amp re reset this one, I'm not sure what that one is. I forgot. I have to look. I'll put it in the comment below. I forgot what this one is. I don't know. Maybe electrical. I have. I've had it trip here and I've had it trip for that. I don't ever remember having hit reset. So anyway. You also have the 8 amp reset for this. For your 12 volt. This here is the eco switch. Once you start it. Um, and it's running, your green light comes on, you flip it on eco, and the idle will go down and save you fuel, and it does work. This over here is uh, your on-off valve, it opens the fuel to the engine, and that's closed, that's open. This is your choke. Um, this here you can buy... The Paralink, if you want to connect two of them together to get 4,000 watts, um, I don't. This is your ground. You know, every generator is supposed to be grounded. And I'm sure all y'all who have generators have grounded your generator, just like I did. Uh, I, this is still tight. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, how has it ran? I have probably a 1,000 hours on this little thing. This is my sole source of electricity right now. Um, and I've been running in June. And y'all know I have a 6,000 BTU air conditioner. I ran around the clock. Um, back in, in summer when I needed it. Now uh, I just run it to charge my house battery. And at night to charge my laptop and watch TV and stuff like that. So now instead of getting ran 24-7, it gets run um, about six hours, six to eight hours a day, some days. Some days it don't get run that. Over here is your recoil. It starts very easy. It's very easy to pull. I've, um, I've damaged my cord. I need to get another one before that breaks and leaves me without a... I'll probably do that tomorrow. It's a good thing to do tomorrow. Um, over here. <coughs> uh, let me set you down for just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. Over here, as you're looking at on the right side, you'll have this panel. You just take these two screws loose and this panel will come off. Okay. This is your oil. Um, little dipstick in there. Check your oil. This is your air breather. Little foam filter. Champion says to do a 50 hour, well, first you, when it's new, you do a five hour break-in. You run it with non-synthetic 10W40 oil 
for the first five hours. And then after that, you can run whatever you want to in it. I run synthetic. I, I run uh, Mobile One Synthetic in this. Um, then I do a 50 hour maintenance on it, which is drain the oil, change the oil, clean the, um, I guess you, a bird thought it's funny. So, um, a bird just knocked something out of a tree over here. I don't know if you heard it or not. But anyway, this is a foam filter. Um, you clean it. I clean mine with gum out. And then, look there. Stupid mosquito. Here it is, January. End of January, mosquitoes out. I have seen robins today, too. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Foam filter. I clean it with gum out and then use um, foam oil spray. Because uh, you do want, want it to be um, the oil on the filter. Now, honestly, I do get some blow-by oil on this. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there. But then again, like I said, I've got... Um, that's That looks like they maybe water separator or something on the carburetor. But I have about that thousand or more hours on this. I'm trying to do this and hold the phone at the same time. But... It's got two slots right there. Go there we go. So, okay. Let me uh, put you down again. I'll show you one more, a couple other things. Okay, back here, muffler right here. This is a spark arrestor. Now this is very important. Um, you, on my 50 hour maintenance, I uh, champion says every hundred hours. I do it every 50 because I've had this clog up, and the generator will not run it um this thing here come out it's like a little cone and you'll need a little i use a nylon brush like a stiff toothbrush with some gum out and i clean it until i can see through it again um it it gets clogged up easy especially if you use um, um that um ethanol gas i use i try to use non-ethanol gas and it runs pretty good. The gas tank is up here. It does have a vent. Now, if you, you, this is closed and it will die every once in a while if you've got this closed. The vent's supposed to be open. The gas tank holds, I think the specs say 1.1 gallons. Here is the access to your spark plug. If you need to change that, you just pull this off and your spark plug is right here. So Yorkies don't care, Dad. Yorkies don't care. We don't care, Dad, about no old stinking generator. Okay, let me get some fuel in this thing, and I'll start it for you. Show you the starting sequence. Now, how long will this run on a tank of fuel? I think I told you it has a 1.1 gallon tank. Back in the summer, I got as many as 14 hours on a tank. That's when it was new. I still got quite a bit in there. Um, average, I get around 10 hours if I'm just, wasn't much gas at all, I didn't use as much last night as I thought. Um, if I'm just like charging laptops, watching TV, I can get 10 hours. When I'm running that a battery charger for my house battery. The 40 amp. <laughs> this this generator does not like that <laughs> battery charger. I can get about seven to eight. That's it. That's if you're you're using the eco mode. If you're not, you'll get around six or seven hours on a light load. So to start it, you turn your valve open. You're gonna pull the choke out. Like I say, this thing is very easy to um, pull. Once it starts, let the green light come on. Let it run 30 seconds a minute before you plug anything in.
unplug whatever you got plugged into it. We're going to take it off. And that's pretty much the generator. I've been very happy with it. It, um, I'm glad you can't see what he's doing now. <laughs> carry on, dude, carry on. Um, there was a time before I, before I knew that the uh, spark arrestor would clog up. You know, it died 2 a.m. in the morning in August. Um, let me tell you, when your air conditioner goes out 2 a.m. in August in Oklahoma, you, you get up and you find out what's wrong. And so here I was, 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm here trying to figure out what, what was wrong. And um, like I said, a couple times the low oil did shut it off. So, but overall, it's ran. It has done everything I've asked it to for $449. It's decibel levels, they say, is around 38, which makes it one of the quietest ones on the market. I think it's even quieter than the Harbor Freight one. Um, so, yeah, well, you can get these. I'm, I'll leave a link below to the Amazon. You can get them on Amazon. The, the, about the only thing different is the model number because these are all, you know, some of them's got a yellow case and black details. This one's got a black case and yellow details. So it is the Champion 2000 watt inverter generator. I do not leave it out in the rain. It says not to. It's got, you know, sensitive electronics in it. But honestly, it has been sprinkled on. It has been snowed on. On the porch, you know, when it rains, I put it on the porch. And it has got wet on the porch. Knock on wood. <laughs> Little dogs. But knock on wood. It, it still runs. Like I said, I've, um, only thing that is bothering me is the blow by. And that's because when I take in the house and stuff, I was getting oil on the floor. So I put, I just put a piece of cardboard under there. And when it gets soaked, I put a new piece. Um, it, um, In the champion warranty, in the in the owner's manual, if you read the fine print of the champion warranty, it will not cover it if this is your primary use of electric, electric utility. So if you're using it to like I am, it they probably wouldn't cover the warranty if something went wrong. So the blow by is an annoyance. It's not worth me taking it back. It's not worth me trying to get you know customer service or whatever you know. So I'm happy with it. Uh, it starts when it's, you see how easy it starts. First, second pull every stinking time. Uh, I don't care if it's 20 degrees out here or, you know, when it was 100 and 108, I think is the hottest it got last year. So it's run everything I've hooked on to it. He really doesn't like that battery charger back there, but it will run it. So if you're looking for a dependable, small inverter generator give this one a look though the champion 2000 watt inverter generator i think y'all like it so until next time Donald. Oh, i need to film this dog he just got hung up in a briar and he got all that hair so he thought the briar <laughs> oh little man come here Hey, you're just not an outside dog, are you? Well, we'll catch you next time. You're just not an outside dog, are you? No. <clears throat>